Hi, I'm Daniel Fisher here at Sweetwater Sound, and today I am showing you the new Roland Phantom. This is from a long line of Phantoms. Uh, this one is just called Phantom, and it is, uh, it's an imagination station is what it is. It basically inspires you to play and it allows you to make songs very, very quickly because it basically uses um, a lot of pattern styles and group and song styles and it does TR recording. So it lets you make drums in the same way you might do on a TR-8 or TR-8S. Um, it has lots and lots of engines in it. It has the virtual piano, the V piano in it. Um, it has 256 note polyphony of PCM playback. It's got PCM playback with oscillator sync. It's got the virtual analog synthesis, um, kind of like you might have found in the Jupiter. And it has a really clever layout where when you want to get to synth parameters, you know, if you want to get to an oscillator type, you just hit the parameter button and you can see all of the different parameters here and all of the different choices. And whenever possible, they give you graphs and they, and they just kind of show you the flow. Um, if I go into the filters, I can see all my filter types, low pass, high pass, band pass, uh, various famous synths, all at uh, minus 12, minus 18, and minus 24. DB per octave, they're peaking filters, low pass two, three. There's a certain P5 filter. And you have all of those controls up here where you have cutoff and resonance and filter type as well as being able to jump there. Same with the envelopes. You got a pitch envelope, filter envelope, and amp envelope. You can switch to any of those instantly. Then you have your knobs for moving those in real time. They're nice knobs. Um, you got an effects. So you have a large choice of effects for um, master effects as well as effects for each of the zones. And I should say, um, the idea was to just throw everything into this thing, so you never had to worry. Do I have enough voices? Well, the V piano has unlimited voices. The uh, PCM has 256 voices. The VA, we don't even know how many voices are yet. They're still trying to find the maximum number, but plenty. And there's some really new things in here too, including an analog filter, a true stereo analog filter that lets you just jump in and you have an overdrive that's analog, a VCF that's analog, a VCA that's analog, and you can have two of them. You can run it in stereo if you want. And if you wanna have pure analog output from the analog filters, there's actually an analog filter out here. And as you can see from the front, there are lots and lots and lots of, of control inputs as well as audio outputs. You've got balanced XLR outputs as well as balanced uh, TRS. Uh, quarter inch output, you've got sub out one and two, both stereo. Um, you've got control and gate outputs. You've got control and gate outputs for a second set. Um, you have three USB devices, so you can plug controllers in, uh, thumb drives, you can go to the computer. Um, there are 16 audio channels going out. I believe you can bring three audio channels back into it. And if I don't sound completely certain on this stuff, it's because we just got this thing. And uh, last night I tried to learn as much as I could on it, but I at least wanted you to see it. I wanted you to hear a little bit about it. It's just very clever in the way that everything is here for you. The keyboard, I promise you, is a wonderful feeling keyboard. Uh, possibly the nicest keyboards they've had for the 61, 73, and 88. Um, very, very nice. The, the keyboard itself is a really nice build. Um, I like how everything's laid out on the back. And fortunately, <clears throat> they give you the panel screening so you can see what everything is from the front. I like that. Regular AC cord, no wall wart. You get both the standard roll and pitch bend and mod wheel like this, which is really great for when you're trying to do brass and guitar and strings. But you've also got the wheel, which is better for Leslie and a pitch wheel if that's what you're used to. They're both available all the time. In fact, there's a lot of that kind of thinking where you can do something over here, but you can do it over here. But the main thing is that everything is a scene. There are no more modes to be in for this or that. You're just always in a scene. You can always choose a scene. You go to scene select, um, you just hit a button 
And that's basically picking up to 16 zones that are doing something. And you can have external MIDI zones, you can have internal zones. You can select any one of the 16 zones and all of the editing tools are available for it right then and there. You can turn on and off, you can solo, you can mute any of the eight zones that I got going here. You can bring USB audio in and mix that. Um, it's very easy to do splits right from here. You can do panning and level right from these knobs and the sliders. And like I said, you can choose any of the 16 zones to edit simply by using these eight buttons and then choosing whether it's the top row or the bottom row. This thing can hold 1.7 gigabytes of samples and that's in flash so it stays there. You could trigger them from the pad. And what the pads do can be changed instantly by hitting the pad mode button. They change colors now to tell you that they're sample pads. Now they're note pads. Now they're partial switches to turn partials and zones on and off. Now it's a DAW control, a DAW control, which means that this thing integrates when you go to this and you connect to a PC or Mac, um, all of a sudden this thing links right into your DAW and you have full control over everything. You don't have to touch your computer anymore. And right now they have setups for both Logic and Main Stage. There are many more coming. And the screen can become a motional pad. Uh, what does that mean? It means you hit this and you get this cool target shape and you can have four different zones uh, in the corners and you can blend between them. You put it in auto mode. And I mentioned the TR recording. Um, basically there's this workflow of uh, making patterns and into groups and into songs and each of those you can choose how long each of them ring and for how many time and how many measures they're repeated and uh, that lets you build up a very complex song that you can play it out in the end uh, but just to do a simple drum recording you know I'm gonna go into zone view I've got four zones here I have this set to a drum sound if I put this into TR record and simply hit a sound I'm on that now, so if I just put this in here. I am no drum machine expert, but those of you who use these things and telling me that I'm an idiot, you'll be able to just go right in and use that stuff very, very easily. But you can also then go in and do a pattern record. So let's say I'm gonna go to a different zone. I'll set this up for a bass. Okay, and I can go back into record. I'm going to set a count in for one measure. And we do my length at four, so I get. And you can just keep laying down parts after parts after parts. And when you look, you can all of a sudden see how each of these groups are working. You can build songs where each of these songs can be 
different patterns that you put in a row and say how many of them play. Um, you can move things around. So obviously there's just a whole lot of things to learn about this. The key thing is you never have to worry about running out of notes. You never have to worry about running out of effects. You don't have to worry about running out of song space and you can just play and you can just add zones. You can have 16 zones, like I said. Um, it's just a great performance and compositional tool and it's very easy to interface with other things, whether it's control voltages to your analog gear or your rack gear, um, working with the pads, uh, working with kind of the drum machine TR style. You got full mixing over here in real time. And again, you have full control of the DAW. So all of this can integrate very quickly into your software and you can run everything from here and not touch the computer.
Thank you.
Very exciting stuff. We are going to dig a whole lot more into this, but we wanted to get this out very quickly and play some sounds for you. Uh, if you have any further questions about the Roland Phantom, please contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. My name is Daniel Fisher. Thank you very much for watching.